guys, welcome back to another chaotic day in my life, trying to code something new. Today, I'm going to try and answer this question that has been haunting me for the past few days, which is with all of the layoffs happening in tech, with AI taking over, those type of things, do I still love being a software engineer? Because I did make this video like a year before, but so much has changed in just a year. So let's talk about that today. Okay, my main goal for today is to actually try and find a project that I want to work on, and then I want to monetize it as well. So like actually build something that I'm going to be shipping out to actual users. But I need to come up with an idea that's probably more sustainable, B2B. So today we're going to do a lot of ideation. Step one for today is to actually leave the house. So I'm going to pack my bag and then we're going to head to a cafe because I'm going to try and be as productive as possible. It's a long day, but productive. Let's go. I had again an ice vanilla lavender latte and a chocolate. You know what's funny? Everyone thinks that the tech industry is dead because of all the layoffs in the past two years. And yeah, it's been rough and companies are acting like they've never heard of employee happiness before. But here's the thing. Being a software engineer isn't just about working at some fancy tech companies where you get free kombucha and existential dread and golden handcuffs. Although that's what I thought it used to be. But I've been coding for nine years now, working full time for six, and I'm a senior now. And I realized that the thing that I love the most about this job is actually just building stuff. I mean, even now outside of work, I have like 47 half finished projects because I just get excited about everything. And last month, I tried to build an app that helps me make coffee. Did it work? Barely. But was it fun? Absolutely. So the beautiful thing about software engineering is that you can literally make your wildest, stupidest ideas come to life. And that's incredible. Something else that I really like about software engineering that I realise not a lot of people might like is the fact that the job feels like a puzzle. Like, yes, sometimes things are broken. You have no idea why and you have to figure it out. And once you do, it is so incredibly satisfying. But the process to reach the solution can be very, very anxiety-driven and overwhelming as well. But to me, I love that part. I love being a detective trying to solve problems. Of course, instead of solving murders, you're out here solving why your freaking CSS is being weird or why your infrastructure is not working suddenly. So different issues but similar concept that I really, really like. You know what's wild? I'm sitting right here in this random cafe in Berlin and I could literally be anywhere in the world right now and still be able to do my job. Like this laptop and internet connection, that's my entire office. No commute, no dress code, no asking for permission to work from different locations. Although in some companies you do have to still do that. I saw this hilarious meme the other day about the setup of the guy who created Linux and it's hilarious how low-key he is. Just like coffee, another thing that really fuels me and is so important for me when working is the people I work with. And that's something that hasn't really changed even with the industry changing but of course this really depends on where you're working the team you're working with the people around you but i've worked in the past few years in different companies with multiple incredible engineers and when you work with really good people even things like debugging can seem really fun and interesting because you're just learning something new every single day So my back has been sending me passive aggressive signals in the past month, but today all of that changes. Habada hooked me up with that E3 Pro chair and I'm not going to lie, I've been putting this off because I'm terrible at furniture assembly, but I decided to be an adult and set it up today. And thank you so much Habada for sending me this chair. I can usually debug complex distributed systems, but give me furniture assembly with instructions and suddenly I question everything. And so I'm getting my friend to help me set it up. But so far seems like it's really simple because the instructions are super clear and everything's very well laid out. It's done! We have a working chair. It looks beautiful. 
this is what my previous chair was, which is a basic chair from Ikea. And this looks so much more ergonomic. And this is going to be so good for my back as well. Okay, this thing has like three zone lumbar support system with floating wings that rotate 40 degrees. Oh my god, the lumbar support is insane. There are actual floating wings to give the lumbar support and they literally wrap around my waist and adjust in about eight different ways. So it's like the chair is giving me a constant hug. It's incredibly comfortable. Wow. The headrest is also incredible because it moves in four different directions and actually follows my neck when I lean back. It's kind of like it's reading my posture and adapting in real time, which is amazing. Like my neck feels so supported. The entire chair also reclines 140 degrees, which means I can basically take power naps between coding sessions. And this is dangerous knowledge, but it's so comfortable. I absolutely love the armrests because they move in six different dimensions. You can move it up, down, forward, back, left, right, rotate, and then it also folds up. And I think it definitely has more adjustment options than even my monitor at this point, which is really, really cool. Okay, but real talk, when we're spending eight to 10 hours on the desk every single day, like we do as software engineers, it's not just about comfort anymore. It starts to become about health. And I've been neglecting my posture for the longest time. I have invested in things like a standing desk, but when it comes to the chair, I never really cared much about ergonomics, but I'm so happy with this chair right now. And oh my God, I can't believe it took me so long to actually get an ergonomic chair. It's ridiculous. My favorite part so far, 100%, is the footrest. Like, I can really just sit and lean into it and it's so comfortable. Oh, and Habada also hooked you guys up as well because you can check out the link in the description box below and get yourself some really, really cool discounts as well. Plus, they offer a three-year warranty and 30 days free return. So far, I'm really happy with it. So check them out and try it out yourself. So going back to talking about software engineering, I get this weird rush every time I see code actually working in production, stuff that I built, like shipping out small little features and whenever they're used by thousands of people, it just feels so good and it's wild because I have no idea who these people are. I'll probably never meet them, never know their names, but somehow me writing some words, pieces of code would make their life easier. Maybe I save them 30 seconds, maybe I help them find exactly what they're looking for. Just now we were pretty productive in the cafe because I did end up finding this one idea that sounds very, very interesting. It could be something that I could possibly monetize as well. So I'm very excited. And now I'm going to actually do some competitor analysis to figure out what are some other people in the industry doing related to this idea. I don't want to share it yet, but maybe I will in the next few videos. I just want to wrap my head around it first before I actually share it with you guys. On this channel, I usually only talk about building websites or apps, but that's just because that's something that I'm familiar with and what I've been doing for the past few years. But in university, I actually studied computer engineering. So I'm also pretty familiar with the way software engineering works for hardware tools, stuff like my smart lights in this room, that software, the thermostat keeps my room comfortable, that software, the washing machine that knows exactly how long my laundry cycle will be. Yep, that software. So yeah, that's also software engineering. Another reason why I like it. Okay, my brain needs a break and it's great weather to go cycle in the city. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to get changed and then we're going to head out. This was actually my first time trying the electric bike. And right after this, I was like, oh, I really, really want to buy one. But then when I check the prices and they're so expensive, like one e-bike costs like a thousand euros. That's insane. I also had a very Berlin experience because the e-bike that my friend ordered already had no wheel. We already like bought it, paid for it, and then realized there's no wheel. Very basic. But yeah, now I'm back to get some more work done. Okay, ignore this shot. I really thought this was going to be a cool shot, but now it just turns out to be a huge ass, like, light source. Anyway, let's ignore it. But one of the last few things that I can think of for why I love software engineering is so weird because I genuinely love the fact that when we write code, we try to organize it in such a clean way. 
at least the people who try to write clean code, and just the whole process of writing clean code that can then be extendable in the future is generally so fun for me because now after working with codes in professional environments for many years, I can generally see the difference when a repository is written with clean code practices versus the ones that are not. And it just feels so nice when you start writing good code and then you work on a project which has clean code in it. So yeah, in a really weird way, it gives me so much joy when I'm working on a repository or when I created a new repository which is so clean, good code practices, good folder structures, and it's just nice to work with. I don't know, maybe it's just me. So yeah, I still love being a software engineer. The industry might be changing, companies might be acting weird, AI is making everyone panic. But at the end of the day, I get to solve puzzles for work work with some incredibly smart people and I get to turn my stupid 3am ideas into reality as well. So thanks to Habada for this amazing chair. I kind of don't want to leave it because it's so comfortable and I absolutely love the footrest. So let me know in the comments down below what makes you feel passionate about your work. With that being said, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.